Hi everyone, thanks for being here, and welcome to the fifth devlog of the game I am currently working on, Deer Hunt. This video is going to be a little different from the others, as I will go off script. So let's get to what I've been up to this time around. Here you can see the main menu I've been working on. If you want to see the process of me making this, go and watch my speed paint video that I posted a couple days ago, but that's not the main thing I want to talk about today. The thing I want to show you is the save system. The saving of the game is actually hidden from the player itself. When you first launch the game, it will automatically create a save for you, and if you already have one, it will get loaded once you press hunt. As you can see, we move to the level select screen, and not much has changed here from the last time you saw it. The only new thing is that when I select a level, this thing will pop up giving us some additional information about the level. The way of this is not final, but it's good enough for now. When we press play, we'll be transported to the level we selected. And there are a few new things here. First of all, the pause menu that has all of the usual functionalities that you could expect from it. But the more important new addition to the game is the finish screen. That if I complete this level real quick, you can see has things like the amount of moves it took you to complete the level, the least moves you ever completed the level in, the rating you got, and the next button that allows you to progress to the next level. And obviously, the game automatically saves your progress after you finish the level. So that's it for this devlog. I know it's not a lot, but I'm working on something really exciting for the next devlog, so subscribe to not miss out on that. Thanks for watching. Also, if you want to support the development of the deer hunt, check out my Patreon, or if you want to learn game development yourself, give a try to my 100% free game development beginner course. First link in the description.